You played with him. <laughs> you won a Super Bowl with him. Yes, sir. What are realistic expectations for the 40-year-old Rodgers? You want to go first, Acho? Look, <laughs> I'm with you. I don't, I don't I know, know what you're going to say, you know. but that is interesting. Because yeah. oftentimes, I don't answer yeah. in our meetings. I wanna, uh, that is true. Very specific, answer. A specific yeah. question, James. Yes, it is. Expectations for me, go. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Ooh. Now, expectation. Mm -hmm. that, that word means a yeah, lot. Yeah, it means a lot. My expectations when you have Aaron Rodgers and a very competent roster is a Super Bowl. Mm. Now, if you were to say, Acho, you know, what do you think? is going to happen. Yeah. What are you going to bet is going to happen? Hey, Acho, based upon history of the Jets, Jets franchise, uh, what would you wager? Well, that's different. Mm -hmm. But what do you expect? Mm -hmm. Like, hope? Mm -hmm. Like, Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. You bring in Aaron Rodgers, who, to me, is one of the most talented quarterbacks the game of football has ever, ever, mm -hmm. ever, ever seen. Yes. Plus, you have a roster now is not just talented, because talented rosters are cool, but as somebody who had to play special teams, as somebody who always had to assess the entirety of the roster, because I was on the entirety of the roster, the roster actually has, like, some depth to it. Mm -hmm. Your tackles, you're good. Mm -hmm. Running game is cool. Wide receiver room is good. Now you got pass rushers. Plus, you already had DBs. You got a linebacker core. You got uh, defensive linemen. The roster's great, and you got Rodgers? Yeah. To me, expectations have to be Super Bowl. Yeah, and I agree. Uh, we we talking about everybody being healthy. I know you're talking 40. Let's just say Aaron Rodgers coming off the Achilles, Achilles injury is healthy. Your division has gotten weaker, right? That that's number one, right? It has to be Super Bowl. You have a Super Bowl caliber roster. If you stay healthy and Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback of your football team, you have a chance to win a Super Bowl. And I know Shady ain't here, but it's time, dog. It is. It, it, it's time. Because I, I sit up here and I fight for Aaron. I go to bat for 12, 8, whoever, whatever you want to call him. Any day, every day, it's time to get to a Super Bowl. I don't care if you win it, lose it, but you got to get to a Super Bowl. This team is way better than the team you came into last year. And some people had Super Bowl hopes for y'all last year, yeah. and you got hurt four plays in. This team is even better now. If Aaron Rodgers stays healthy, expectations is Super Bowl. They are one of the few teams walking in right now. You see everybody smiling, and they doing all these pictures, the Giants and all these people. Post. The Jets are one of the few teams this season that has a roster that's going into these offseason workouts that has a chance to get to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Got to be the expectations. Hopefully, it was on the wall when they walked into the door. <laughs> uh, a Super Bowl it trophy like or whatever it is yeah. on yeah. the wall. This is what we chasing because we have that caliber roster of Aaron Rodgers as hell. Well, since Shady isn't here, I guess mm. I'm the one who's going to have to keep it real. Mm. I just kept Ooh. it real. And, <laughs> uh, and I guess I'm the only one who's going to actually answer the question because it, it it's, doesn't say hopes or dreams or wishes. Expectations? It says, no, no, no. Words matter. It says, I can read, I think oh, it says, realistic. realistic. Yep, it's right there. That's what it says. Realistic expectations. Super Bowl. Realistic <laughs> expectations. Oh. We're getting very crazy with the Super Bowl talk. It would be nice for them to make the playoffs. It would really truly be nice for the Jets to make the playoffs. It would be a nice thing. They don't get in the playoffs. It would be a massive improvement for the Jets to make the playoffs. It would be an incredible improvement for them to win a playoff game. Ah, ah, ooh, mm. one. One game. It would be a massive improvement. It would be a huge accomplishment for the Jets to do that. I'm not making a mockery of the Jets. They do plenty of that on their own. I don't believe anything the Jets tell me. Pitch someone else. I want to see it. I do not walk by faith when it comes to the New York Jets anymore. I spent six months of my life last year talking about the Jets potentially going to the Super Bowl and four plays in, oh, over. And then I had to listen to Zach Wilson talk again. I'll never forgive y'all for that. that, that I, listen, I am a grudge holder. People I keep forget. them like plants. I water them, make sure they don't die before their time. No way am I forgiving you for that. You, you pitched me on this Aaron Rodgers nonsense for six months. Achilles gone, and now I've got to listen to Zach Wilson talk again? Go do it, please. On paper, it's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Masterpiece. Beautiful. 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 You, got, you, got an, you got an energetic coach you that's like, them. you know, it doing should be. things. Should be. You know, and you've got a, you've got Aaron Rodgers and all his, right you know, he's just showing up. He's got his glasses on. He's ready to go. He looks, mm -hmm. you know, just like, like he ate fruit today. Go time. I want to see it. I just don't believe it. I don't care what is being pitched to me when it comes to them. And I will not, because we have a rule around here. Dave, we have rules. Uh oh. You know this. 
We are not comparing Tom Brady to no. anyone else. No, Nobody we can't. Say I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about 40-year-old quarterbacks. Okay, no, just take no, him out. No, so when that. we start nobody looking at the other 40-year-old quarterbacks, it's not. You know, if we if, like, I got the numbers here, and I very specifically wrote. It ain't like, too I'd be, okay, not a lot. <laughs> and then when you take Tom Brady out, the results are not as shiny as they look when you include him in those statistics. Sometimes people can curve statistics, so mm -hmm. let's take Tom Brady out of it. I just think realistic expectations for Aaron Rodgers is that they are competing at the end of the year. First of all, that he stays healthy through an entire season. Let's go for that, please. That he throws for a game, a game, you know, he has a game where he throws for more than 300 yards. That will happen. Which that, it's been a couple years since we've seen that. And that they are sniffing around the playoffs. I'm not disregarding all the other teams in the AFC, teams that have gotten better. Okay, there's, there's, I understand the Bills took a step back without Savon Diggs, there's some adjustments to be made. This is the New York Jets we're talking so about. So I know you say on paper it looks beautiful. Right? I'm, being, I'm being kind. Okay. I'm being, I, it's a it Monday. Nice. I don't want to start the, I don't nice. want to start the it week off nice. negative. It nice. It's it look, nice. It it's nice. a nice looking piece so of paper. everybody healthy, because that's what we're going off. We've been knocking on wood. And sure, all. yeah, everyone's Nobody healthy. Nobody hurt. We're, everybody, playing, we're playing the fantasy everybody of everyone healthy. healthy. Yeah. You will be surprised if this team made the playoffs. Okay. Like, I'm, no, 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 not surprised. Like, you think that would be an accomplishment, like a, accomplishment of a season if this team made the playoffs? Correct, because we are making a very wild assumption that the last Aaron Rodgers that we watched healthy for an entire season playing at that level, because what I'm not going to do is just forget that and an Achilles injury and 40 years old and skip back to the MVP year in a t at a team and a place where he played his entire career and just whoop, go to the New York Jets and that we're going to duplicate that performance. So I'm going to go off the last performance of him being healthy for an entire season where he did not have one game where he threw for over 300 yards mm -hmm. and they missed the playoffs because they couldn't beat the up the, the up and coming Lions who he has owned for most of his career. I, I can't do that. So I'm not going to go all the way back to that. I hear that this is a man that's walking in with a long resume. But what's happened lately, and I'm take, I'm actually giving you the last season, although I've, I'm really not because I'm considering the fact that he's 40 years old coming off of an Achilles injury. Mm -hmm. I hear you. I don't, this is a show where, I mean, we like to do bets here. I, the confidence coming from James. Always. Is really, like, are we... Just to the Super Bowl? Like, are we putting something on That's it? That's the expectation. That's the expectation? So I, I think I fall somewhere in between. And I'm, I'm honestly surprised. I'm surprised at Super Bowl. But I'm also a little bit surprised that Joy, I don't want to, Joy, I'm not going to say you're letting him off the hook. But we can hold the Jets to a higher standard than that. Like You can. I, I think we <laughs> all should. And here's my thing. I like to follow what teams tell me. Follow what teams are doing. Follow what teams think of themselves. If the Jets were doing this whole, oh, shucks, it would be nice to break the longest playoff drought in, in the NFL, like, we would just be happy to do that. If that was the Jets, then I would be like, okay, cool. Get rid of that word realistic when you talk about the Jets, because I spent, and y'all did too, the entire fall listening to Aaron Rodgers talk about coming back that season. <laughs> he said, set a goal and tell me what I can't do and I'll shatter those expectations. And what do he do? It, Not play it one more second of the is, NFL season and wasted still, everybody's time. Still the, the standard he wants to be held to. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just saying, there wasn't no need to come back. There was gonna be no, what he didn't want to do is reveal the plug because if he had came back, it would have been a, a medical a marvel. Story. Yes. That's the standard he wants to be held to and that's the standard the Jets want to be held to when you consider what they've done this year. They go out, they spend big money to get two veteran tackles. They go out, they pay a prove-it deal to a, a proven badass receiver like Mike Williams. They still have a top 10 pick in the draft. They traded for Hassan Reddick to replace Bryce Huff. Woo. Woo. These are the moves of a team that's going for it. The, what the Jets have done, forget what any of us say, what the Jets have done says, we got Aaron Rodgers, we think we got a shot. They even actually did something about backup quarterback. We're not going to have to hear from Zach Wilson this year because if something does happen to A-Rod, it'll be Tyrod Taylor, mm -hmm. who can step in and do the job well. At the very least, if he's got to play four games, he can win you two or no, three. No. Even if Aaron Rodgers gets hurt, the Jets have prepared themselves to have a shot. So I say, hold them to that standard. Super Bowl is rich when you consider that the Chiefs own the AFC. I'm not going to steal our friend Nick Wright's bit, but it's like the Arrowhead Invitational. I can't go all the way to Super Bowl. But when you consider what the Bills have lost and, and the fact that, you know, their financial window is difficult, the Jets, at the very least, 
should be in contention to win their division. And if you win your division, you got a shot to make a run. It's okay to hold them to that standard. I don't think that's unrealistic. Where I'm, I think the answer to this question all depends on how do you feel about Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. Who are the names on that list, the 40-year-old quarterbacks? Warren Moon, Vinny Testaverde, Brett Favre, Drew Brees, Matt Hasselbeck, Doug Flutie. They, those are the seven quarterbacks in the Super Bowl era at mm -hmm. the age of 40 who have more than five games at over the age of 40. So here's what I will say. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I agree. You Brett Favre is also 13 and 12. You can't compare anybody to Tom Brady. No, you, no, he's gone. But I also wouldn't compare a lot of them names to Aaron Rodgers. Mm. Come on now. I also wouldn't. Fair. I would not Fair. do that. Aaron Rodgers is different. I'm not his teammate. I just played against him. Dang. So Ooh. while Tom Brady lives on his own, yeah. I think Rodgers got to be somewhere mm. in between the Vinny Testaverde mm. and the Tom Brady of it. He got to be what's, somewhere so who's in between. So who's, well, who's, well, who's he unfair to compare well, him to? Well, Matt Hasselbeck. Well, and Matt Hasselbeck's right. my, well, dog. How about my dog. How about, dog. How about mm. Brett Warren Favre? Moon can't. Brett, you could put in that conversation. How about... Well, James says no. He played with him. How about Drew Brees? Ooh. No. I'm not putting Drew Brees. No, Brees can't no, touch. 40-year-old no, Drew Brees touch. was not... not, I'm not even, was but not I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is... Just, what I'm yeah. saying is these individuals can't touch Rodgers no. talent-wise. No, no, no. Rodgers got okay. four MVPs. He went back-to-back, back, then back-to-back. Back. Mm. You mm -hmm. feel me? So, like, I, no, I'm not going to compare him to Brady, but what I have to say is Rodgers is a freakazoid. So if you take a freakazoid quarterback, and we all believe that quarterbacks matter... The Jets were 7-10 and 10 without Rodgers the last two years. The question then becomes, how many wins do we think Rodgers is worth? I believe a quarterback of Aaron Rodgers' caliber should be worth about four of them things. And this is why we talk about the postseason success, because Rodgers is great in the regular season. Okay. He mm -hmm. is a freak in the regular season. No doubt. MVP, MVP. Stats. Yeah, yeah. No interceptions. Yeah. But what happens when we get to the postseason? Because what we're talking about is expectations for the Jets in the postseason. We're not talking about Aaron Rodgers putting up a bunch of statistics, mm -hmm. which, by the way, he hasn't done recently. Well, well, no, words matter. We're talking about realistic expectations for Rodgers. I didn't say that. You hadn't gotten to the postseason. I didn't say that. We're you talking, you guys are the ones talking about the Super Bowl. Stuff about the Jets. You guys are the ones talking about the Super Bowl. No, to this. Well, no, I'm, 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 not, I'm not disagreeing. I'm saying, first, we got to get to the postseason, which I think he will do. So you're saying he'll get there. Rodgers, for his entire career, outside of James, we all agree, has underachieved in the postseason based off of the success yes. that he has yes. had yes. as an individual Undoubt during the regular it. season. Undoubtedly. So what we're talking about with the Jets for expectations is oh, not do we that. think that Aaron Rodgers is going to put up a bunch of statistics. Mm -hmm. We're talking about how far is Aaron Rodgers going to take them during the regular season. So based off of comparing him to a Drew Brees, who has the same amount of Super Bowls, or a, I don't know, Brett Favre, okay, like... What are we talking about? Are we talking about Aaron Rodgers looking good? No. Are we talking about the Jets but, winning games in the postseason? See, because there's nothing about Aaron Rodgers' career as of late, as of recent, and like the last two years that would suggest that he is going to just take them to the to the promised land. If the Jets, we, though, and that I just, love can Joy. Can we just say just one year? He was four plays. Can we just say the last year? No, 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 no. Because we forget this two James. MVP seasons. Not, no, we we're don't... not forgetting that. That's a long time ago. I mean, tearing your Achilles is, I mean, that matters. Even Apparently if you only it play doesn't. Four matters, we're not even considering four that. Plays as a season. Like, when you say two years ago and the man played a season in four okay, plays, so then it's let's, hard to let's say two seasons. Okay, but the Achilles counts as a major injury. counts. We would assume that this would be a problem for any player. Right? Yeah, I, no, I'm no, with you on I was that. Thinking, I was thinking I'm with you on that. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I just believe that Aaron Rodgers is incredible. I, I, now, the, the thing, yeah. the nuance is, if I were going to argue on the Aaron Rodgers Jets to the Super Bowl campaign, I would suggest the nuance of when the Packers lost those playoff games, more often than just about every time, their defense, atrocious. Yeah. Atrocious. I mean, I think the... Falcons beat the Packers and what was it? Maybe 44 to... It was bad. It was, it was, it was, a, couple, it was, it was terrible. A couple, it was a couple games 12 could have played better. No doubt. Time. No yeah. doubt. I said more often than not. No, no, no doubt. But, yeah. like, the defense has been atrocious. No, if yeah. we are all very mindful, the reason the teams in the AFC advanced as far as they advanced this last playoff year was primarily defense. Yeah. Houston Texans, they lost to the Ravens, and the Ravens didn't even have to score on offense. Ravens scored on a punt return. And, 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 and the Texans only put up, I think, 10 that game. Yeah. So the Ravens advanced to the conference championship game, family, because of defense. Any, anything and everything can happen. We know it takes a lot to make a run. Oh, of right? course. Health-wise, you know, got to play better that Sunday or Saturday. It takes a lot to make a run. But at the end of the day, when you have a quarterback at the skill of Aaron Rodgers, 
you have a chance to get to the Super Bowl. And not only that, just roster-wise, this defense is going ball. I don't oh, care who's yeah, at the right. quarterback mm -hmm. spot. Right. Yeah. This defense is going to play at a high level because they showed us that the last three, four years that this is what we do. So they are going to ball. Adding a caliber quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, I don't care about the age number, I just care about his, him being healthy. If he's healthy, nothing is wrong with Aaron Rodgers' arm. And that is why I'm so high on the Jets if Aaron Rodgers is healthy because I've played with this man for eight years. I know how special that's, that's he where I'm is. At. And if he is healthy that's, that's where with I'm this at. defense, there is no reason why, or there's no reason why anybody should be surprised if they are in this game, and I mean it's, Super Bowl. Let, let me ask you this, We though. shouldn't be surprised that's, no, that they're in the Super Bowl. No, not with what he got. For the first not time with that since roster. 1968, I think it would qualify as, as a surprise, even with Aaron Rodgers. But is it because of... Because Aaron Rodgers is. Jets ain't never had an Aaron Rodgers at that quarter. Rodgers is good. Man. Great. I, don't, I think Aaron Rodgers is. So I think Aaron Rodgers is one of so the all-time great quarterbacks. I also am aware that he tore his Achilles last year, and that he is happened. 40 years of age. Yeah. Looking off of the data that that separates Tom Brady, because we're all reasonable people, it's not great for 40-year-olds. On top of the fact that this is an organization that does not have a history of winning lately, mm -hmm. okay, we are being very aspirational with our expectations here. Can we at least admit that? I'll give you this. I feel better about them making the Super Bowl than I did last year with Zach Wilson. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.